So I want to talk to you about the simplicity of ball position. It can get very, very complicated. I'm going to make it very, very easy for you. And by the way, please like and subscribe to all the things that we've got going on. It makes a world of difference for everybody to get this information. So please participate in that fashion. Now, I want to talk to you about this ball position thing. And if you look at this, this T-bar that I have here, and I, I, I did a, a, a video not long ago with the T-bar, but I've, I've kind of extended this a little bit and we'll continue to do so. You can see that there's four different colors of tape. The black here, silver, white, and blue. Now, those are separated by about an inch and three quarters. So if you're so inclined that you wanna make one of these, it's a very easy thing to do. But the reason why they are an inch and three quarters apart is because that golf ball, you can see the golf balls right there. They're 1.68 inches in diameter. So just call it an inch and three quarters because that's easier math. And what you can see is, is that there's an effect four different ball positions. So I have what I call a middle ball position, which is right there, this first one, that's the middle. Then we have this one, which is the silver, this one, the white, and this one, the blue. Now, the fun part is, is that the, the back ball position, the middle ball position right there, that one there, that is where sand wedge, lob wedge through nine iron will go. Then this next one, the silver, that's gonna be eight iron through six iron. This forward one will be five iron. We'll call it long irons plus hybrid plus fairway. And then this blue one right here, that's going to be where driver's going to go. Okay? So what you do is you just get a strip of tape that you're going to get these, um, like I use duct tape. You get the, the duct tape. They come in two inch widths. So you just make, you put the first one on in the middle. And then you just overlap the next one so that it's an inch and three quarters. And then you overlap the next one so it's an inch and three quarters. And you can do that with a Sharpie, just draw those out. It's a, 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 a simple thing to do. But I've got a nine iron here. Now, the reason why I put that on the, on the T-bar is because it's very easy for you to pay attention to where it is in your stance, in your feet. But it's still, remember, it's still an upper body thing here. So when I go to my nine iron, which is the club that I have here, I want this middle bar in the middle of my heels, not my toes, but the, in the middle of the heels. Some of you are going to flare your feet like that. What you want to do is pay attention to where that is relative to the heels. So get in the middle. If, you're, if you flare, great. If you don't, no big deal. So in the middle... This is going to set up pretty straight. More lofted golf clubs, by the way, aren't going to curve a whole lot. So middle of the stance. Make sure I got that right. Middle of the stance right there. And now you're just getting used to the position of that golf ball. Good clean strike. Very happy with that. Let's try it again. And this is, as I said, Lob wedge, sand wedge, gap wedge, pitching wedge, nine iron. So you got, depending upon the number of wedges that you have, you'll have four or five different clubs. Those are your more lofted clubs. Four or five different clubs with loft that will be in the dead middle of the stance, which is in effect right where your nose is, okay? So here, that's set up a little closed. So now I'm good. Middle of the stance, under the nose. And I'm not so much concerned with where the ball went directionally at this point as I am concerned with the strike. I want to make sure that that ball is there and I start to see some consistency with launch angles, distances, uh, slipping in there. I'm not swinging hard. I'm just making motion. But where the launch angle is, where my strike is, am I getting in the center of the club face? So many times you might hit it out on the toe or even in the heel. And the last place you're looking is ball position. It should be one of the first places that you look. And in, in, in that is, okay, do I have the ball in the right spot? This is an easy thing to put into your bag, bring it out there and do it every single time. Develop that consistency. So that's the nine iron. Now I go to the six iron. So I told you before that this silver spot is going to be where the six iron, seven iron, eight iron will be. So when I get set in here, now this is the fun part. You make sure that that bar, that bar is in the middle of the stance and the ball is in front of the bar. 
one ball in front of the, the, the middle of the stance. That's where six iron, five iron, four iron, nah, I would say eight iron, seven iron, six iron are there. Five iron, four iron, we're going to move up another one here, okay? So here we go. And that's, again, a very good clean strike. Love that shot. Now, I tend to cut the ball. So this is going to be set up center. That ball will tend to start pretty straight and then fade off to the right. You're doing that, like I said, eight, seven, six, right off of that, that silver spot. Now we start to go to the, to the more forward iron, most forward iron. This is a four iron that I have here. This is going up into the white zone right there, that white tape. And this bar, again, is in the dead center of my feet, which is in the dead center of my stance. So the bar is always under your nose. But now that ball is forward. That's two balls up from center. And for me, when I do this, I kind of feel like this one is sort of off of my left ear. So my, my six iron, my seven iron, my eight iron, they're kind of off my left eye. The, the middle ball position is right off my nose. So I'm going nose, eye, ear. So this is the lead ear. Good one. And now when I start to go into my fairway wood, which is an important thing, and I have two fairway woods, I have three iron or three wood rather and five wood. So this is the, I grabbed the five wood. Now this is the same thing. The only difference is, is that because this shaft, pull it full there, Gibbsy, if you would, this is the four iron shaft and that's my five wood shaft. So you can see that the five wood shaft is, you know, probably two, three inches longer than that four iron. So that means that I'm going to be a little bit farther away from this. But the ball position is still up in that forward, that forward spot or the white tape. And I'll tell you something that's interesting about this here in just a second. And there's a good clean strike again. A little bit of a fade just the way I like. I want to explain to you about what happens to the body when you start to, to get longer clubs here. So I got the five wood. What starts to happen is you start getting a little bit taller. So if we go down the line, as I have a pitching wedge and I get closer to this, I'm bending over a bit more. When I start to get a longer shaft, five wood shaft, now my spine is a little bit taller which similar swing thoughts will create different motions, okay? So as I'm taller, I will naturally get a little bit more side bend as I come through that. So in effect, what happens is, is that even though the ball position is, and, and many of you are going, well, you play the same ball position with your forearm that you do with your three wood? I, yes, I do. And the reason why is, is that as I start to get a little bit of side bend with that longer shaft, it nudges a little bit more forward. I don't think about it, but it does that. Okay, so here, that bar is still in the middle of the stance. Now I've got the distance to the ball correct, and now I go. Pulled that one just a fraction, maybe a little club face shut. Yeah, a little club face shut there. But still, very, very solid strike. Not on the line that I'm looking for, but a solid strike. Now, finally, I want to get to the driver. And so with the driver, what we're doing is we go right across from the blue thing. So that blue tape is right there. That sets there. And now, when I get into this, I'm no longer thinking about that ball. I'm thinking about this bar. So that bar, I got to get a little farther away. So here we go. So that bar is in the middle of my feet. You can see it right here. It's in the middle of my feet, which is right underneath my nose. But the ball position now is 
we'll, we'll call it three balls forward of center. That's all it is. And what you're going to find is you're going to, you develop this consistency of putting the ball in the same spot every single time, and you set it up with, like where, where I am, all my wedges and my nine iron in the, in the middle, then eight, seven, and six in the silver, five, four irons, three, all the way there, and then my hybrid, or my five wood and my three wood are up in that, and then the blue is the only time that I'm using that for driver, that's it. But that's only about six and a half inches. That ball position, it only moves about six and a half inches, okay? So it's not a lot. And as you get comfortable with all this and you develop the consistency of that, what you will eventually develop is consistency in your shot shape and consistency in the strike on the golf club. So put the ball in the same spot every single time and the right spot every single time with a given club and you're gonna find a better ball strike. Now, the last thing I wanna tell you is this. You can have some amendments to this. In other words, you can go, well, you know what? I like to have this back a little bit more. I like to have this a little bit more forward. There's no hard said rule that it has to be absolute for you individually. If you want to hit a fade and you want to play a little more forward ball position, then you can. Then you can start going to the middles of the spots. So you go to the middle between the black and the, and the silver. You go in between the silver and the white and you could go just off of the forward part of the blue. If that's what you want to do. I'm not suggesting that you do that. What I am suggesting is that you give that a try. But understand that it has to be the same every single time. That's your stock shots. This is what you're doing with your ball position. It becomes so simple, so repetitive, that eventually you can start to feel that ball position in your upper body. Nose, eye, ear. And then the last one I always feel like is right off of my um, armpit there or the logo. So when I'm in one of those two spots, I know that's where my driver is going to be. I'm telling you that's going to help you. It certainly will simplify ball position for you and help you get to a consistent spot. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.